Tragic loss of young lives in the West Bank, examining recent incidents involving Palestinian boys. Israeli forces have been involved in a series of tragic incidents in the occupied West Bank, leading to the loss of young Palestinian lives. It is essential to recognize that these events are part of a larger and ongoing conflict that has been affecting the region for many years. The situation is highly complex, and it is crucial to approach it with sensitivity, empathy, and a commitment to peace. The recent events involve the unfortunate deaths of seven Palestinian boys, aged between 14 and 17, during demonstrations in the Israeli-occupied West Bank, including East Jerusalem. These deaths have raised concerns about the use of lethal force by Israeli forces during these confrontations, which may be in violation of international law. The tragic incidents included the shooting of Mohammed Teher Ali Mustafer and Laith Osama Zal Abu Mara in East Jerusalem, Hussein Mutas Hussein Mauser in Beit Lakaya, Am Eard Issa Jibran in Al Ram, Rafat Ther Ahmed Abu Mahanar in Chilkaram, Omar Ahmed Abdulrahman Azmar in Ziatar, and Mohammed Rafat Mohammed Adwan in Fairan. The circumstances surrounding these incidents vary, but in each case, it resulted in the loss of young lives which is always a tragic outcome. The context of these events is marked by ongoing tensions and confrontations between Palestinian youth and Israeli forces. Demonstrations and protests have been taking place in solidarity with the situation in Gaza, where Israeli military operations have had a devastating impact. The escalation of violence and loss of life on both sides is deeply concerning and calls for a peaceful resolution to the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It is vital to emphasize that international law stipulates that lethal force should only be used when there is a direct threat to life or the presence of serious injury. The circumstances surrounding these incidents raise questions about whether the use of lethal force was proportionate and necessary. Investigations and evidence collected by organizations like TSIP, Defense for Children International, Palestine, suggest that there may be instances of excessive use of force, which can be a cause for concern. The loss of young lives in any conflict is a tragedy that should remind us of the urgent need for a peaceful and negotiated resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It is crucial for all parties involved to work towards a lasting and just solution that respects the rights and lives of all individuals in the region. International attention and diplomatic efforts should continue to focus on finding ways to reduce tensions, prevent further loss of life, and pave the way for a comprehensive peace agreement.